Well, good morning everybody on the other side of the screen this is cruise man just getting ready to head home from my Sunday grocery shopping had uh, breakfast this morning with Dawn and Dale uh, Dale is a uh, another 2018 Honda Goldwing rider and he was um, joining us today. But anyway, we, uh, the three of us met at a wake for breakfast and uh, Dale brought another friend of his, a neighbor of his who rides a Harley. And they were gonna go for a ride after breakfast here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And uh, Dale, I don't know if you've seen him on camera on my channel yet, but it was actually, actually you might, you will see him visually anyway in an upcoming video that I'm doing for Big Bike Parts. Uh, Dale let me use his bike to install a, a new backrest, a uh, Big Bike Parts Show Chrome Rider Backrest, Padded Backrest. And I uh, hope to have that video out this week. We installed it on his 2018 Goldwing. He's never had a rider backrest. He's been riding for many, many years. In fact, uh, Dale is a uh, MSF instructor, safety instructor, teaches the Motorcycle uh, Safety Foundation courses here. He's one of the uh, t trainers here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area teaching people how to ride safe. And <clears throat> it's been a busy week. I've, I've finished up the editing on the Indian Pursuit review video, which uh, has been getting a lot of viewership on YouTube. I want to thank all of you who have taken the time to watch that video. I also want to uh, welcome you if you've never seen one of my motor vlogs before. Um, I do this at, usually every Sunday if I'm in town. Usually do a motor vlog once a week. And uh, if you haven't done so already, I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost anything. And uh, all you do is click that little subscribe button down below this video. Don't forget the notification bell because that way the next time you go to YouTube it will uh, notify you that I have new videos out. And coming up soon I will have a video comparing the uh, Indian Pursuit to my 2018 Goldwing. I think you're going to find that interesting. And I will be comparing it just like I did the BMW K1600 in a variety of categories. So if you're on the fence as to whether or not to purchase a Honda Goldwing or an Indian Pursuit, and I think a lot of the things would also carry over to an Indian Challenger because um, from the ergonomics, I think they're very similar. So make sure you check out that video. I've also got um, my installation video and semi-review of the uh, Big Bike Parts bi biker, uh, back rider backrest, sorry. So that'll be coming out hopefully this week. And uh, I did a video compare on the BMW comparing the storage on that BMW to the Goldwing, uh, 2018 Goldwing storage. And I think I may do another video like that for the Indian. Uh, that was actually a pretty popular video. So if you are purchasing a touring motorcycle for the purpose of long distance touring, multi-day trips, and uh, storage capacity is important to you, I think uh, that might be a video that you'll find interesting. Uh, when Honda redesigned the Goldwing in 2018, one of the things they did was they gave it a sleeker, smaller footprint and 
took away some of the storage capacity of the previous generation Goldwing. The previous generation had a bigger trunk, it had bigger saddlebags, and as a long distance touring bike, that previous fifth generation Goldwing might have been a better long distance touring bike than this new model even though I have adapted and actually like this new smaller model because I think it's it's much easier to handle in town it's it's much more of an everyday bike not just a long distance touring bike not to say you can't do that with the previous generation those were great bikes too I had three of them and I loved every one of them now in 2021, many of you know, in 2021, Honda increased the trunk size of the 2021 Goldwing. They got so many complaints and so many people like me uh, asking for a larger trunk that they did. I couldn't believe they did it, but they actually did redesign the trunk of the 2021 Goldwing and uh, gave it a larger trunk. Now, I'm supposed to be getting a 2022 Goldwing in here to review and when I do I'm going to be able to compare the trunk of that new Goldwing as well as other features they did update some other features too and I'll be able to compare those side by side with my 2018 Goldwing so the focus of that review is not just going to be on the 2022 Goldwing but if you own a 2018, 2019, or 2020 Goldwing, is it worth considering trading up to a 2021 or 2022 Goldwing or 2023? We still don't have an announcement from Honda that I've seen on the 2023 Goldwing. I know that I have heard uh, from some of you out there that say you've ordered, you've placed an order for a 2023 Goldwing and that the dealer has taken a deposit or taken an order. So that leads me to believe that the 2023s will be arriving, but I haven't seen any information from Honda as far as the color choices or if there have been any other changes. I would be surprised other than maybe a price increase if there have been any other changes to a 2023 Goldwing. I want to apologize for not having the rear-facing camera. I forgot. I, it's in my trunk. I just forgot to put it on my mount over here. So all we have today is the front-facing camera. Nobody wants to look at me anyway, probably. I'm telling you, we are having the most beautiful riding weather right now in Dallas Fort Worth it is 82 degrees right now I think it was 79 degrees when I left the house this morning and uh, very little wind it's just perfect riding conditions I think the high today is going to be about 95 and I think after today it's supposed to start really cooling off here so it looks like maybe the worst of the hot weather is over for this season. I'm sure we'll have more hot days, but I don't think we're going to have many more 100 degree plus days like we had for a while. What kind of weather do you prefer to ride in? On a highway road trip for me, if it's anywhere from 50 to 70 degrees, to me that's perfect riding weather. Um, I, I'm not crazy about the heat. I'd actually rather have it to be 45 degrees than 90 degrees. I'd prefer the cooler weather. What about you? What, what's your preference when you ride? So today I'm going home. I'm going to be spending most of the day editing. I'll be editing the review between the... Uh, Goldwing and the Indian. I still have the Indian in my garage. I'm trying to get them to come pick it up. Uh, it's still sitting there. I could have ridden it this morning. I just didn't. I rode the Goldwing instead. One piece of good news is my front tire. I, I've been keeping the TPMS readout on my front tire because as you know I was afraid I had a leak but it appears to be holding air just fine. In fact it's at 40 pounds right now. So apparently uh, there was nothing wrong with my front tire. It just got very low one day and uh, now that I've put air in it, it seems to be holding air just fine. So 
so that's good news so I got a brand new set of tires in from wing stuff and uh, didn't need them I mean these tires only have about 4,000 miles on them so they're good for another five or six thousand miles probably how many miles are you getting out of your tires I I, t I tend to ride on Bridgestones and when they get up to around 10 11,000 miles they start riding a little rougher I think they still have enough tread where I could go another couple thousand miles, but they just don't give that uh, soft, smoother ride that uh, I prefer. So I usually change them out at around 10 or 11,000 miles, but do you prefer the Dunlop? If you have a 2018 Goldwing or 2018 Plus, I should say, which tires do you prefer? And it really doesn't matter what kind of bike you ride. No matter what brand you ride, what tires do you, what brand do you prefer, and how many miles are you getting out of a set of tires? This last set that I just bought, these Bridgestones, were $450 for a set of tires. Man, that's a lot of money. Now, I did get a rebate. Uh, Wing Stuff had a rebate coupon for Bridgestone. And I was able to submit that online to Bridgestone, and I think I get a $50 Visa gift card back. But still, we're talking $400 for a set of motorcycle tires. I'm beginning to see now why some of you guys like to run a car tire. Because they're so much cheaper. And you get more miles out of them, but I'm just not a dark sider. I never have been. I have no desire to really do it. But I understand why some of you guys do the dark side thing. Uh, also not familiar with how many miles you get out of Can-Am tires. For those of you that ride a Can-Am Spider, what, what kind of mileage? Because those look, they look kind of like car tires to me. So what are you getting on those tires as far as mileage? If you enjoyed this video, once again, please don't forget to click that like button. Makes a huge difference uh, getting my channel. Uh, ranked well with YouTube and I will see you guys on the next cruise man's motovlog until then Ride often, but ride safe <laughs>